Alan Hovannes was an Armenian-American composer. He was born as Alan Varnes Chakmakjian in 1911 in Somerville, Massachusetts. He was very prolific. He wrote two operas before he was 11. He was not really interested in exposing the materialistic values of the machine age. He rather explore the transcendental values of the spiritual world. In 1940, he was appointed organist of the St. James Armenian Church in Watertown. He knew that he was Armenian and he was somewhat interested in Armenian music, but not, you know, to use the roots of Armenian music in his compositions. But uh, once he became aware of the Armenian liturgical music, that was a life-changing point for Alan Hovannes. And at that time, there was Yanovk der Hagopian, who was born in Van and had come to Boston, met Alan Hovannes, and he started singing native songs of Van to Alan. And Alan was very, very excited about all of that. You see, from the church, he was uh, familiar with the liturgical chants, but Yanov der Hagopian introduced him to the folk songs of the Armenian people. So uh, he, he was completely in love, and he decided uh, in the 40s that he was going to devote himself to Armenian music. Alan Hovan has remembered Yanov der Hagopian as the person who had influenced him greatly and he felt that he wanted to write a piece for him, dedicated to him. And actually in 1951, he wrote this piece, which is simply called Yanovk, which is very monophonic, which means a single melodic line, no chord, no harmonies, no counterpoint, very much Armenian. Before he wrote anything, he studied Gomidas a great deal because he knew that that was the source of everything. Gomidas was the most important influence in his life because they both shared the same aesthetic values. They wanted the essence of the Armenian music, whether that's, that was liturgical or folk music. His goal was to make this music understandable to the urban Armenians, to the city dwellers, who were exposed only to uh, Western music. This was something new. And both Gomidas and Alan Hovannes made a point of introducing this material in a real Armenian way. Because uh, Gomidas and Alan Hovannes felt that this was a unique way of expressing their culture, and it was part of their existence, and it should not have been forgotten. Similar to Gomidas, uh, Alan Hovannes used the cultures of other people as his point of departure. He's a, he's a composer of fusion. To use the tools of the Western civilization, Western music, and combine that with the cultures of other nations, including the Armenians. <laughs> 